Hey, so here's two minutes on cremation boxes. So cardboard boxes or corrugated boxes that are created for cremation like this. They have handles. You can see they're double, triple lined in there. They have to be durable enough to carry two, three, sometimes 400 pounds in these. They have a lid. They are full body length. We have one standing up. Um, the lid, when it goes on, marks which end the head is. Now I have the arrow upside down on purpose so that you can see what else. They ask the deceased, the funeral home, the date of death, pacemaker, medical implants, have no yes or removed. Contagious disease, embalmed, do they have any jewelry or things on them? Any other information that we need to know? These are all important things. As we know, watch other videos. We need to remove anything with batteries. We don't really want jewelry in there because it's going to get clumped up with the cremated remains. It's going to change its shape. It's not gonna be just a pretty wedding ring sitting in amongst the cremated remains afterwards. So what is easiest is if you remove important jewelry and you can put it back in with the cremated remains afterwards. Head does matter, especially with someone over a certain size. They wanna make sure that the head and the foot is well distinguished to put them in the retort a very specific way. So this is the most minimal container that most funeral homes use for cremation.